Salam dear friends, thanks so much for being here again on my channel. In today's video I am going for an, an art journal page. But before I start I just wanted to uh, note you out that uh, there was a spelling mistake in the previous video, the hashtag uh, Pogus Art, part, my participation in that uh, event. Uh, there was a mistake, luckily no one just commented on that. but just in the future if you are watching this video and you're interested in going and watch this video the one I did this page and it happened that you just noticed that uh, knowledge uh, was missing a W it's here I fixed it okay so in today's um, page I only have a quote 3d and I have an idea in my mind that I want to go for some texture so what I'm doing is I got my modeling paste ready Again, almost every product I use is on the, from PPO. So I have a modeling paste and I'm going to use uh, my spatula over here. And uh, I will only add texture by scraping with the spatula. And I prepared, um, as you know, if, you are, if you've watched the previous view vid uh, videos, you will know that I don't have an access to much of uh, art supplies. So I tend to make almost everything myself, like stamps and all. And if you would like to see my uh, handmade or DIY uh, rubber uh, stamp or eraser stamp uh, collection, let me know in the description, uh, in the uh, comment uh, section below. And I will film that only if you're interested. So this one is only a clear sheet. And I went ahead and I used a, a puncher, single hole puncher, this one okay and I punched holes all around and of course obviously since this one cannot go any further so I went ahead and I made a sheet or cut a sheet which is double the width that this can go inside and I punched it from both sides and I ended up with this now I didn't try this one I'm trying this one with you people over here so Okay, so as you know, since this uh, modeling paste or the any anything textured is usually thick, uh, so it takes longer time to dry actually. And even when I dry it with the blue dryer, blow dryer, uh, it tends like it seems like only the top layer is dried, but the bottom layer is not. But so that's why I am going with. Uh, so I was already planning to go with watercolors, and I'm using these water soluble pastel colors. Uh, that I got from Daiso only here at the packaging okay I use mainly this one the fluorescent one it seems like more vibrant and full of life rather than this the basic colors these basic colors seems to be a little darker than my liking but still I use it once in a while and the way I use it usually is I just take the the, the crayon is it a crayon yeah I take I take the the thing over here and I just draw and then I solve it with um, smudge it with water with my fingers but since this is not fully dry and I don't want to move the paste much so what I'm planning to do is I'll spray some water over here next to me okay and I would use a brush maybe or a fan brush let's see how it will go for me I am going for blues and blue colors blue pink fuchsia pink and uh, a little bit of red maybe so these are the colors I'm going for over here
just want to hide this one a little bit more. Yeah, I feel it's a little bit off over here. And this red a little bit. I like, I love, 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 love the effect now. So I'll just go ahead and dry this one with the blow dryer again. And I'll be right back. So now this is dry. Now I'm not sure how is it showing on the camera, but if you can see, I'll try to allow this to focus a little bit. If you can see how nicely here the colors are mixed, it's it's really lovely. And here comes the DIY <laughs> stencil that I'm I'm proud. I'm always proud of whatsoever I mess up with. Anyways, so here is the page, the background. Uh, as I said, I'm not going for any stamping or anything. I just want to count on the stencil and the texture I have in the background and along with the colors. But I'll be doodling a little bit and um, using uh, my Daimo. Let me show you this one. Uh, the Daimo uh, label machine to uh, print out my quote. This is today's quote. The greatest pleasure in life is doing what people say you cannot do so I'll stick it first and then I'll go ahead and doodle So this is the finished page. I don't think I'll be adding. Usually even after I'm done filming, I'll just go back and add something here and there. And um, anyways, I might go, uh, when I'm done with this journal, I might just film a full art journal flip through. So if there is any changes, you will see it most probably in that video. So this is the finished page for today. The greatest pleasure in life is doing what people say you can do. I'll just date it. Today's date is 24th of August. Let's hope I'm not, <laughs> I'm not dated wrong because this happens often that I, when I come to print to stamp the date and I use only a date stamper here which I like it doesn't give really perfect results in pages with textures and all of that but still, oh, oh perfect 24th of August let me sign it again the same micro pen oh, not writing sorry this one So it's done. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see any more of my videos, please subscribe. You're a 
support is highly appreciated. And uh, till the next time I see you, please remember to be the good you would to see in the universe. And thank you for watching.